welcome to Suzuka for the Japanese race. This is one of the most famous circuits in the world, and you can see why. This track has every type of corner imaginable and two very fast sections, meaning every moment holds the promise of something exciting to watch. Originally built as a circuit for testing cars, Suzuka was later added as a racing circuit for multiple types of motorsport throughout the world, blending many different corner types high-speed straights, the incredible 130R, and a very unique crossover, giving it the famous figure of eight appearance. You can see why this is one of the most famous racing circuits of all time. As we await the start of another hugely anticipated Formula 2 race, I'm joined again by Davide Valsecchi. Davide, as a former GP2 champion, can we get some insight to what is running through these young drivers' heads as they sit out on the grid? Ciao, Alex. It's a pleasure to be here. There are nervy moments. There is no doubts about that. Mental strength is the key to remaining calm and focusing on the upcoming race. Formula 2 is so competitive, and all of these drivers know that they are going to be pushing each other all of the way. In this sport, you have to be able to control your nerves. Well then, after an exciting session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up. Louis Delatraz lines up on pole position, with Sergio Sete Camera alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Mazepin, Matsushita, Sean Galeo, and Joe, De Vries, Correa, Giotto, Nicholas Latifi, Schumacher, Aitken, Tatiana Calderon, and Eilat, King, Hubert, Alessi, and Ralph Boschon, Boccalacci, Mahavir Raghunathan starts from the back of the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track.
Carlin have pulled off a sublime performance to secure the top step of the podium today. Davide, what do you think made the difference here? I think this race was won thanks to the tire management. You have to remember, it's not just about going as fast as you can. It's about consistency. It's about maintaining your speed over an entire race distance. So being able to keep the lap time competitive while still respecting the tires, that's where they won today. And there you have it, today's winners. Having raised some of the biggest names in F1 to date, Carlin have once again shown their expertise when it comes to recruiting new talent. No doubt today's winners have a bright future ahead of them. They certainly deserve it after today's performance. And so, driver of the day then, Davide Valsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? Difficult call, but I'd like to say Luis de Letras. He was just perfect in conserving the tires and made the difference at the end. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care.